Thank you for watching my channel. People, if you watched my last vid video, if you haven't, please go watch it. In this video, it'll prove that when the Watchtower bought Warwick location but for the new headquarters, they had no clue the dangers below the ground. So please watch my video, Jehovah Witnesses Warwick New Headquarters Danger Beneath the Ground. What I'm going to do in this video is going to give you something. If you Jehovah Witness, please hear this. This is from your government body. This is how much trust they believe in your God, Jehovah. So I'm going to play this, and we'll take it from there. is monumental. It's, uh, it's a historic event. And uh, we can read about history, but for us to live at this time, to be a part of it, uh, as history is being written, uh, it's so exciting. I would consider just as significant as the move of the brothers from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to the city of churches, Brooklyn, and even more significant. If we look at the history of those taking the lead, they've never been sentimental toward material things. Uh, they were willing to move the headquarters from Pennsylvania to New York. Um, they've been willing to sell buildings. They've been willing to buy buildings. See, they're always thinking, well, what's best for kingdom interests? We're not attached to anything material. From the very onset, the uh, governing body was unanimous after we did a uh, uh, search for properties where we could build headquarters. Uh, this property at Warwick would be the very best of all. Yes, well, we see Jehovah's direction and the procedure from the beginning to where we are now, by the way, it's come together, the location of the property, the acquisition of Tuxedo. The governing body is convinced that Jehovah is directing that the world headquarters be moved to Warwick. We're absolutely convinced of that. Said, uh, governing body uh, was unanimous after we did a uh, uh, search for properties uh, where we could build headquarters. Uh, this property at Warwick would be the very best of all. Yes, well, we see Jehovah's direction and the procedure from the beginning to where we are now, by the way, it's come together, the location of the property, the acquisition of Tuxedo. The governing body is convinced that Jehovah is directing that the world headquarters be moved to Warwick. Absolutely of that. Okay, please listen to what he said. They didn't start off saying they was directed by Jehovah to move to move to Warwick. They said the elders, you no, know, the governing body came together, and they was convinced. This will be a good location for the new headquarters. And then later on, they were sure that it was a Jehovah's approval to move to uh, Warwick. But there's only one little flaw, Jehovah's Witnesses. And I'm going to play a little bit of my last video and then... We'll take it from there. In general, um, there's been a uh, massive contamination of uh, Warwick, uh, of the old uh, metal refinery. A problem with that metal refinery that has been there for a very long time is back um, when dumping was legal, you just needed, uh, and it wasn't a choice, this, 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 this little caveat they used to have wasn't enforced where you could dump anywhere but you needed to have a list of what you dumped how much you dumped and uh, exactly where it was the problem with that is that it was rarely enforced I believe back in the 60s and 70s and stuff like that and um, of course um, you know dumping like then you would, they would also use very cheap aluminum 
uh, barrel and stuff like that. Now, because of that, uh, the whole area up to the college has been uh, contaminated with uh, very, very horrible chemicals and uh, very, very dangerous metals, uh, including uh, solid state and powdered mercury uh, and uh, uranium that has, you know, hasn't been uh, messed with yet, but still pretty dangerous in a rough state. Um, and it's just been pouring out. Um, the EPA um, went out there and um, they're trying to see whether or not it has gone to the point where it has seeped into uh, the groundwater and uh, how deep it actually goes. And since this, uh, this company and the subsidiaries who used to, before it went belly up, which were the big conglomerates who uh, used to be part of this, who used to fund them way back when they were around, um, no idea where it was. They exactly dumped everything um, and how much exactly what they dumped, where. Um, they have broadened their their, their scope of their, their water contamination to actually encompass the, uh, the college campus that's up there. They're mandatorily also, so they're screening going on for uh, students and uh, teachers who've been up there for the past five years, uh, including the, the, this class that, that, that is up there, right, that who is up there and getting ready to break or they're still there to stand for the summer. Um, but one of the biggest things that happened is, uh, it, you know, a lot of people, you cannot, you can't, that's the reason why they were trying for us to, to, to build this, uh, version of Internet Explorer, which, uh, you know, it's very much, there's just been so many hits, one I feel we haven't had time to, but, um, we had a meeting and in that meeting, uh, the body said that basically it uh, doesn't matter what happened. Uh, doesn't matter what the EPA says. Doesn't matter, you know, what's going on. Uh, basically, the show goes on. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they basically, um, everything keeps going as it is. Uh, construction continues. Um, the, you know, if you're up there, you will continue the progress that you're doing, unless we're told to be halted uh, by the state government, which we haven't. But basically, everything will go on as it, you know, as it shall. And um, at that point, uh, two sisters uh, decided to uh, get very upset and emotional, and they left. They, uh, while they were leaving uh, Bethel, they were cursing up the storm. While they were packing the things and just leaving, and I guess they called their mates on the way out. Um, okay, I'm going to stop it there. My last video, you can listen to the rest. So, we active in faith. Whose faith? Jehovah Witnesses, the faith of their God Jehovah or the governed body? Because you just heard, unless these people come in and shut them down, they're going to continue building this new headquarters and anyone working in that area can be affected by radiation poison and whatever poison they have in the ground and all that. And they're drinking water. So, this what could go up on their land soon. Can you imagine the witnesses working around signs like this? Because the governed body told them, put your trust in Jehovah. He will protect you from Hazards waste, was, which is toxic. A long time ago, they dig big holes and dump barrels, chemicals, and all that. And then they 
filled them up with sand, dirt, and all that to cover it up. So some of these drums and all of that could be busted or is busted. And do the government body care? No, they don't care. All they care is about their stinking project, which they had buildings, which was already paid for and all that. You witnesses is paying for a Tosket dump site and they claiming Jehovah was with them when they purchased this land. Think about it. If you are God's chosen people, why in the world would he let y'all put a new headquarters that y'all already had in a place is a Tosket dump. So, here's the question. You Jehovah Witness, are y'all going to act in faith on the government body that this chemical dump is not going to harm you? I have a solution for you. That you can do something that even your God Jehovah and the government body can't guarantee. Start wearing these suits. Biohazard suits with filters. So that means all you Jehovah Witnesses need to wear these things while you're up there, up there working on the, on the site. If you're going to live there, y'all going to have to wear these 24 hours a day. Even, it probably would be best if you sleep with the thing on and take a shower with these things on. Because if you don't, you're going to die. We already proved to you from your own government body saying, Jehovah is not near to be God's name. So that means you are called what witnesses? Because since God's name is not Jehovah, then what are y'all supposed to be called? What wit witnesses? And second thing, the government body is the one made this move without God's blessing. So that means the government body is a liar. They bought this property, not finding out more about it, who had it before that, to make sure the ground was safe. Or better yet, what in the hell did the God Jehovah didn't tell them? Do not buy that piece of property. It's danger. It would be danger for my people to be on it, to live on it. So this proves your God Jehovah does not exist. Thank you. And please watch my last video. You'll hear more what this person is talking about. Because he was up there. He is scared to death. And he had his parents told him, go to the doctor. Get a complete examination. Because they don't want their son to be affected with, with chemical chemicals is on this place of War, Warwick, new headquarters. Please, Jehovah Witnesses, you're not in the true relationship. This is Satan organization. God don't allow his chosen people, what you call yourself, to walk into a deadly place. Thank you and have a nice day.